journey with us into this magical land where every story is a portal to a place where the ordinary meets the extraordinary. Welcome to the Chronicles of Enchantment. Let the tale begin. The Story of the Enchanted Book Chapter 1 The Enchanted Discovery In the quiet recesses of the school library, Leela often sought refuge among the dusty shelves and forgotten tomes. On an ordinary afternoon, her fingers traced the spines of aged books until they rested upon one that seemed to beckon her with a faint, ethereal glow. Hootie, her wise companion perched on her shoulder, hooted softly, sensing the peculiar aura emanating from the mysterious book. As Leela delicately opened the cover, a gentle cascade of magic unfolded. A subtle hum resonated in the air, and the library around them began to shimmer with an otherworldly light. The enchanted book, its pages whispering secrets of realms untold, responded to the touch of an eager reader. Suddenly, Leela and Hootie found themselves transported to a place beyond the confines of the mundane. The library, once familiar, now transformed into a mesmerizing portal, and the enchanted book pulsed with an invitation to explore the wonders written within its pages. Leela's heart quickened with anticipation as she gazed upon the text before her. Each word seemed to resonate with the promise of adventure, and Hootie's observant eyes conveyed a silent assurance that this was no ordinary literary excursion. As they ventured further into the initial pages, the narrative unfurled like a map leading to uncharted territories of imagination. The glow of the enchanted book illuminated passages describing fantastical landscapes, mythical creatures, and untold mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Leela's curiosity and Hootie's sagacity became their guiding lights as the story unfolded, propelling them into a journey that transcended the boundaries of reality. Little did they know that this enchanted discovery was just the beginning of an odyssey through realms where the lines between the tangible and the magical blurred into an exquisite tapestry of wonders. Chapter 2 The Whimsical Realms Leela and Hootie, immersed in the enchanting tale woven by the magical book, felt the air around them thicken with anticipation. With each turned page, the duo found themselves transported to a new and wondrous realm, leaving behind the familiar scent of aged parchment for the intoxicating fragrance of exotic blooms and the crisp breeze of fantastical landscapes. The first realm they encountered was the Crystal Gardens, where flowers sang melodies of forgotten tales and the very air shimmered with iridescence. Here, Leela and Hootie encountered talking flora and benevolent sprites that guided them through an arboreal wonderland. The enchanted book served as both guide and passport, unveiling the secrets of each realm with a mere flip of its pages. Next, the duo found themselves in the Celestial Observatory, where constellations came alive, dancing to celestial melodies. Hootie, with his wisdom in astronomy, engaged in conversations with star beings, exchanging knowledge that echoed through the cosmos. Leela marveled at the vastness of the universe, her imagination ignited by the cosmic ballet unfolding before her eyes. As they delved deeper into the story, the enchanted book whisked them away to the luminous caverns, a subterranean realm adorned with phosphorescent crystals. Here, mystical creatures glowed in the darkness, 
and Leela and Hootie discovered the hidden language of luminescence that echoed through the caverns like an ethereal symphony. With each passing chapter, the duo's bond with the whimsical realm strengthened. Leela's eyes sparkled with the reflection of unseen wonders, and Hootie's feathers shimmered with the echoes of celestial encounters. Little did they know that their journey through the pages of the enchanted book was weaving a tapestry of magic, and the true essence of their adventure awaited them in the chapters yet to be unveiled. Chapter 3 The Labyrinth of Enchantments Leela and Hootie continued their odyssey through the mystical pages of the enchanted book, their excitement growing with each passing realm. As they turned the next chapter, the narrative led them to the Labyrinth of Enchantments, a place where reality intertwined seamlessly with the fantastical. The labyrinth unfolded before them as a mesmerizing tapestry of twisting pathways adorned with luminescent symbols. It seemed to shift and morph, responding to the energies emanating from the enchanted book held tightly in Leela's hands. Hootie, perched on her shoulder, emitted a soft hoot, its resonance navigating the duo through the intricate maze. The air within the labyrinth hummed with magical energy, and ethereal beings flitted in and out of existence, leaving traces of iridescence in their wake. Leela and Hootie encountered riddles written in ancient scripts, and with each correct answer, the labyrinth revealed new passages and concealed others, guiding them deeper into its heart. As they journeyed, the duo encountered enigmatic creatures that spoke in riddles and offered cryptic guidance. Whispers of forgotten legends echoed through the corridors, weaving tales of sorcery and timeless enchantments. The walls themselves seemed to respond to the touch of the enchanted book, revealing glimpses of realms yet to be explored. Amidst the labyrinth's twists and turns, Leela and Hootie stumbled upon a chamber bathed in a soft, otherworldly glow. In its center stood a pedestal, upon which rested a key, an ornate artifact imbued with the essence of ancient magic. The enchanted book whispered that the key held the power to unlock the next chapter of their journey. With the key in hand, Leela and Hootie pressed forward their hearts brimming with anticipation for the wonders that awaited them in the upcoming pages of their mystical adventure. Chapter 4 The Ephemeral Finale With the key in hand, Leela and Hootie ventured forth, guided by the whispers of the enchanted book. The labyrinth's intricate passages seemed to yield effortlessly before them, as if recognizing the significance of the artifact they now possessed. As they approached the culmination of their journey, the labyrinth transformed into a kaleidoscope of shimmering colors. The air crackled with an energy both ancient and effervescent, marking the threshold to the story's ephemeral finale. The enchanted book fluttered its pages, revealing an illustration that seemed to mirror the very surroundings they found themselves in. They entered the crystal chamber, the heart of the labyrinth, where time itself seemed to suspend its relentless march. The chamber was adorned with crystalline formations that refracted the ambient light into a mesmerizing dance of colors. In the center stood an ethereal portal, a gateway to the grand conclusion of their adventure. As Leela and Hootie approached the portal, the enchanted book glowed with an intensity that matched the luminescence of the chamber. The key, now resonating with the magic inherent in the story, 
hummed in harmony with the book's radiant energy. Together, they unlocked the portal, revealing a tapestry of swirling lights that beckoned them into the unknown. Stepping through the portal, Leela and Hudi felt a surge of exhilaration as the realms they had traversed merged into a magnificent panorama. Stars sparkled overhead, trees whispered ancient tales, and the air resonated with the harmonies of myriad enchantments. The enchanted book, now aglow with the culmination of their journey, floated gently in front of them. As the final chapter unfolded, Leela and Hudi realized that their adventure was not just confined to the pages of the book but had become a living, breathing tapestry of magic that transcended the boundaries of fiction and reality. The enchantment, now woven into the very fabric of their beings, promised endless possibilities for new tales and adventures yet to be discovered. Let your dreams be touched by the Chronicles of Enchantment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.